of this. This is some weird medical tool, and I've never been able to quite figure it out. It would obviously serve quite nicely as a torture instrument. Um, it's got to be a spreader of some sort. So that would be my guess. But I bought a bunch of medical tools like this, more or less on a whim, on eBay, and I was compulsively addicted to eBay for quite a long period of time. So this is also something characteristic of me because I'll often fiddle with something till it breaks. <laughs> so, anyways, I like tools. I like to build things. I'm not like I, I work with wood. I'm no carpenter, but I can hack together shelves and that sort of thing. And I've made a lot of them for for our house because it's small and and I like tools. They're, they're really cool. And I think of words as tools and ideas as tools. And the things we perceive in the world aren't objects. They're tools and obstacles. But we're really tool users. So we can't help but see the world in terms of its utility. And so that's a very interesting thing to know. Because we think we see objects and then think about their use. But we don't. We see tools and then think about what they would be like if they were just objects. We've got backwards. So that's that. Plus, they're useful. I have a little collection of these in my office, and some of them are quite frightening looking because they're dental tools, and they keep undergraduates on their toes when they come into the office to ask for extra grades. So that's that. <laughs>